morning guys. We've got a really fun day planned today. We're heading over to an animal sanctuary that we went to a couple of years back. I don't know whether you remember Douglas the honey badger that we went to visit. I'm hoping he's still there. If not, there's gonna be loads of cool animals and birds and stuff. But before we do, we're grabbing some breakfast. Cheers. So we've arrived at the world of birds and I've just seen this sign. How cool is this? It says 40 years ago, world of birds was started with no resources on vacant leased farmland to follow a childhood dream and vision. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Right, first stop is the, the monkey jungle, they call it. Um, and that closes earlier than the rest of the place. So we're gonna go and see the monkeys. I love how inquisitive these marmosets are. <laughs> this little one. Oh my, this is it. This must be it. This must be the baby. Oh, thanks for coming to say hi. We're trying to figure out which one's the baby and we oh, think this is it. I think that is it. <laughs> it's so tiny. Wait, 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 oh, oh my gosh. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they all want to be in camera. They so. really do. <laughs> Look, out of the whole cage, they've all just gathered at the front oh, to look hey. at Ryan's camera. <laughs> so one of the really cool things here is that they have breeding programs for endangered species, which is really cool because often their natural habitats are kind of at risk and um, it's, it's good to have places that are built specifically to protect animals and also educate people and uh, allow people to, I guess, get passionate about wanting to save wildlife in this planet. <gasps> what? Hey! <laughs> this is amazing! You're so confused by your hair. <laughs> what are these cute little monkeys? Are you looking in my pocket? What are you looking in my pocket? Hey! <laughs> this is amazing! I know! Hey! They love your camera. I know. <laughs> this is amazing. What? <laughs> Buddy! Buddy! Oh, I still got a monkey on me. Yeah, you do. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, so many monkeys. <laughs> Get out of my pocket. Oh, my gosh. How many monkeys do you have on you? <laughs> this is incredible. Hey, how are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Bye. So those little monkeys were squirrel monkeys. I think they're my new favourite monkey, to be honest. They're so cute. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right, I look down here. One of my favourite animals. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, it's so fluffy! Oh, look at him! Oh, I'm giving him a little tummy tickle. This is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> Goodbye, meerkats. Oh, those are the friendliest meerkats ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, ducks. <laughs> Lots of ducks. Honey badger. This is where Douglas lives. Hey Douglas! Hey Douglas! Hey! Come on! Douglas! Come on! Oh, I've missed him. I don't know. Hey! So those of you that didn't see my vlog a few years ago, this is a honey badger. And they are pretty ferocious animals for their size. They're They've been labelled the, the bravest animal in the animal kingdom because these guys will stand up to lions in the wild. They are fearless. <laughs> this particular honey badger is called Douglas and he was hand raised so wouldn't survive in the wild unfortunately. So I've just been told Douglas has got a little bit rough when he's playing over the last couple of years so when last time I could like, play with him through the cage apparently 
he's got a little bit bitey now. And the guy just told me I'd probably end up in hospital if I tried to play with him like that again. Wait, whoa. <laughs> what is up with you, bro? Don't stab me with your feet. Don't put your finger there. <laughs> Wait, that's a terrible idea. Can you talk? Oh, come on. <gasps> See? Oi, hello. What's he trying to say? Oi, hello. <laughs> he said hello. Oh my God. He said hello. Hi. Uh, hello. Hello. Why hello? What about you? Can you talk? Huh? Huh? Hey. Right. We just walked into this area with birds of paradise. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm literally getting chills right now. Look how many colours there is in it. Guys, look at this white squirrel. It looks albino. Oh yeah, look, his eyes are red. Hey buddy, are you even supposed to be in here? So I think I read somewhere that they have over 300 different species of birds here, which is pretty insane. There's so many beautiful birds, isn't there? It's at, like, I'm just blown away right now. I can handle the colours, they're so rich. So we're about to head off now, but we managed to have a quick chat to Walter, who owns this place, and he was telling us a little bit about what they do to care for birds here. And it was quite interesting, he was saying three quarters of the birds that come in are rescued, and they can't be rehabilitated to go back in the wild. Even the chicks that are born here, if they're hand raised, they won't survive in the wild. He was saying they have a no kill policy. So if an injured bird comes in, he said other organizations like the, the RSPCA and kind of wildlife trust, they um, feel like the best thing to do is kill the animals. But here they have a no kill policy. So even if it costs them to look after an injured bird, um, they will. And then he was saying in order to fund this, people won't pay to come in to look at injured birds and that's why the most popular parts of the park are the monkey enclosure and stuff like that so he said it's actually really difficult and they're always struggling to run this place they don't get any funding from anywhere else so they rely on kind of tourists coming through and checking out the the park and the enclosures and stuff he said over the years they've cared for 40,000 birds that have come in which I think is pretty amazing so I think it's a cool place I think it's really good what they're doing here and uh, yeah it's not always easy kind of keeping animals in captivity and the ethics of it, but I truly believe that it's better to keep them in captivity than just to kill them. Hello. Okay, we've just been dropped off by the Uber and we're walking up to the lookout point on Chapman's Peak and we hopefully are gonna get an incredible sunset. This is such a cool view from here, check it out. Blown the drone out of the sky. What do you mean? Well, it says aircraft disconnected and it hasn't reconnected yet. Where was it last time? It was just on the edge, but it was like really. Oh, oh, I found it. It's the wind. It's too strong. Oh my gosh, it's so strong. I don't know. Level is low. I know, I'm trying. I'm trying. Guys, the wind was too strong for the drone. It's got 1% battery left and it's about to crash. I think it's up there somewhere. I'm so close, I can see it. 
I can see it. I can see it. It's landed. Oh, it looks safe. It looks safe. Right, I might have to find my way up there to get it. <laughs> I have to climb up here to try and find the drone, but the guy said I have to do this at my own risk. I'm hoping it hasn't broken. That was crazy, guys. Now, somewhere in here, the drone has crash landed. But this is the first time I've lost the drone. So I'm trying to track it with the last known GPS coordinates. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, I found it. I found it. Yes, buddy. Totally intact. All the propellers still fine. Just landed on the hedge here. Found my drone. I found it. <laughs> oh my god. Time to relax and get some cool sunset shots. Ooh. That was crazy. First time that's happened to me, guys. Run out of battery and crash landed. Don't you just love the wind? The wind in your hair, doesn't it make you feel free? Um, not this much wind. Actually, right now that you're filming, it's like kind of calmed down, but normally my hair is like... <laughs> Guys, look at this cute little alcove in here. How cute is that? Perfect little uh, sunset spot down there. So me and Raya are hitchhiking with some uh, some random travellers. We're getting in this tiny car. Where should I where should I go? Whoa! Oh, Whoa. You, you fit in. We fit yeah. in. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Well, guys, it's been another great day. It was so good to go back to the world of birds, and I was a little bit sad I couldn't play with Douglas again, but. Check the vlog, I'll link it below from when we went like three years ago and I got to play with Douglas the honey badger. Tomorrow we are meeting up with Jeremy Loops and Matilda and we are gonna be prepping and getting ready for an amazing trip. Basically we're going to, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but Africa Burn. It's the Burning Man festival they hold in Cape Town, or outside of Cape Town. I, I'm a little bit apprehensive. I don't really know what to expect. I've heard amazing things. It's gonna be crazy, but we just need to make sure we're properly prepared for it. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow, getting ready and uh, figuring some things out, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I cannot wait. And I'm gonna be vlogging it all, don't worry. <laughs> right, catch you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure. Boom.